Hey folks, Mac T back, and uh, we have, you know, the Amazon basic oil has been like a hot topic in YouTube. They got people that are reading the labels to everybody. I don't know what you get out of that, but they read the label. You got another guy that's freezing it, he's boiling it, doing all sorts of stuff. How about we take and get, look at some laboratory numbers comparing the virgin oil sample, the VOA of the basic oil, 5W20, to an actual sample that was used in a car. That's right. We got both of, both of these tests in. We're going to compare them to each other to see how these oils come about and what the actual results of using Amazon in your car is with laboratory results as far as what it did. So let's go ahead and see what this Amazon Basics 5W20 did. We're going to start out first with the VOA sample at Amazon Basics and it came in in 1999 for a five quart jug, four bucks a quart. Yeah, that ain't too bad. We got the Amazon uh, Basics testing, basically it come out and we had the testing all done and the TBN was a 6.1, which wasn't too terribly bad. And it, basically it's a serviceable oil as far as the laboratory is concerned. Then we have the basics and we went through and in this one we did 108 hours of runtime, all city high idle. If you want to torture your engine and your oil, you're going to do it the way my lovely bride does and she idles her edge to death. So of course we have 108 hours of very slow driving. I think she came out to like 16 miles per hour based on this 108 hours. So that ought to tell you something. This oil was tortured for 108 hours. Again, the price is the same, uh, but basically Blueberry is the car that she runs it in. And it says here, yes, I am not known to be one to use the same brand of oil every oil change. I use a different brand of oil every time when I change my oil. So I can get oil testing and it's noted right here in the report uh, they said the TBN came in at a 3.4, and we'll discuss that at the end here a bit. But yes, I am very, very, uh, you know, open to using a lot of different oils, and I use every one I run across, and no one single oil more than once. So that ought to tell you something as far as where I'm going with this. But anyway, on the right-hand column, as we're looking at it, we got the 108 hours, and the VOA is the left-hand column uh, next to it. So the aluminum for the VOA was two parts per million when it was brand new, and then we had three parts per million when it was used. The chromium was zero across the board for both samples, and the universal average is zero. Iron, iron was one part per million for the VOA sample. The used sample had three parts per million iron, with the universal average being one part per million for iron. Copper was zero for the VOA, with the used sample having three parts per million of copper in the oil itself. So a little bit of metal, but nothing to bring or bring any awareness or being scared or anything like that about. Uh, lead, we had zero lead in the oil samples for both. Uh, tin, we had zero tin in the oil samples. And the Molly B, well the Molly B started out at 39 parts per million for the VOA. And then miraculously, the Molly B went up to 66 parts per million. I'm going to make a justification on this, is that I used a heavier oil uh, with more Molly B in it in the previous oil change. So some of this is leaching or uh, that come from the other oil that was still remaining in the engine after the oil change. So you're going to see a few numbers that are higher than the VOA, but that's because the previous oil is also involved in this testing. Uh, nickel is zero across the board for both, universe, uh, both the tests as far as the oil used and VOA. Manganese, we had zero in the VOA sample and one part per million in the actual used sample. Uh, silver was zero across the board for both oil samples. Uh, titanium, we had zero titanium in the oil for the VOA, but you notice we got two parts per million in the uh, use sample, which means that some of that titanium leached over into this sample because that was had some titanium in it when I ran the other oil. Potassium, we had two parts per million in the VOA and only one part per million in the use sample. 
boron. We have 158 parts per million boron in the sample. The previous oil had no boron. And then, of course, the use sample was 122 parts per million, which means that during the run of the engine, some of the boron was used up. Uh, silicon, we had three parts per million in the VOA sample, and we had eight in the actual oil sample for the use sample, so that sort of went up just a little bit. Not sure how much silicon was in the other previous oil. Sodium, we had two parts per million sodium in the VOA, and 13 parts per million in the uh, used sample, which again may be from the previous oil. Calcium, now the calcium is interesting. The calcium was 1748 in the VOA sample. The use sample was 1792 parts per million, which means it went up a bit. Well, again, a little bit of leaching because the other oil had a lot more calcium in it, so therefore it went up just a dab rather than going down. But normally calcium will get used up. Magnesium, 11 parts per million in the VOA sample with 69 parts per million in the used sample. Again, previous oil also affected this sample. Phosphorus, 702 parts per million in the virgin oil sample with 746 in the used sample. Again, some leaching going off from the previous oil, but overall it's still doing good. Zinc, that's right, we had 782 zinc in the VOA sample of the Amazon with 806 for zinc in the used sample. Some remnants from the previous oil. And barium is zero across the board. Now, as far as the Amazon VAO sample, uh, SUS viscosity, 210 degrees Fahrenheit, came out to be 53.8 for that virgin sample. And then after 108 hours, it was down to 51.3. And then the CST viscosity was at 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, the VOA sample was 8.43. And it dropped down to 7.68 after being used for 108 hours. Flashpoint, 430 degrees for the flashpoint for the VOA, and it dropped down to 405 degrees as far as the flashpoint goes. Why did that happen? Because we got fuel in the system. That's right, leaving your engine idle dumps fuel into the oil and causes your flashpoint to go down. So that's what happened here, because we have no fuel in the virgin sample, but we had a 0 0.5 or less in the uh, used sample. We had zero antifreeze in it. That's what I love to see because we don't want water pump issues. And then we have no water in it. And our insolubles, the oil filter kept it down to 0 0.2 parts per million for insolubles based on that number. Now we had a 6.1 for the VOA uh, sample for the TBN. And we ended up with a 3.4 for the, VO, for the uh, TBN on the used sample. So what does that mean to us? The TBN total base number uh, for the VOA was 6.1. After 108 hours of use, all city extremely high idle time, the total loss of the TBN during use was 2.7 out of that TBN. This degraded the TBN was at a rate of uh, 0, uh, 0 0.025 per hour of engine operation. The Amazon Basics 520 Synthetic is graded to be used in the following intervals. And that is all city driving with high idle hours, 108 hours, TBN is 3.4, which is 1,596 miles. That ought to tell you something. And uh, let's see, uh, our, my estimate is that the 150 hours at 2,400 miles, your TBN will be approximately 2.3. At 180 hours at 3,000 miles, approximately 1.6. And then the estimate at 200 hours, or approximately 3,500 miles, a TBN would be a 1.1. So basically, we're not looking at a long life uh, in this oil for a city driving situation. So take note of that TBN to indicate that the additives are being worn out or whatever you're doing with them, but just take this information. So if in doubt, follow your owner's manual and of course uh, your severe maintenance if you're driving all city. Uh, there's a Basically, this is not a controlled scientific test at all, folks. This is testing of oil samples from the laboratory, and this is the results that I got based on what I submitted after the oil was used for 108 hours. 
uh, your oil testing may result in different uh, you know numbers it depends on what the previous oil was or if you use the same oil all the time whatever the situation you can look and see if your results vary from mine and make your decisions based on this but these are my real world tests of my wife driving the mom bus and picking up kids going to school to work everything else errands all short drives all quick acceleration and high idle waiting for kids to get out of school so that's where it's at that's how it worked out uh, and that is the oil testing for the Amazon basics so I hope it give you an idea whether or not this Amazon basics oil is any good and whether or not you want to use it in your engine I used it in mine no problem I'd use it again but I'm gonna move on to other oils because there are other oils waiting to be tested and uh, I currently got Molly uh, liquid Molly in my wife's edge I'm gonna do a test on that and see how it works out but my fee at the floor day I'm having a great day I want you to have a great day remember like and subscribe Mac T Ford Edge and uh, join in the group Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook YouTube all that good stuff and the MacTGarage.com website is where you're going to find these oil analysis results on Excel sheets and some testing data and other things that are going to be located there. And uh, Band of One's got some great music that you're going to listen to. And Mercy Grill's got a couple one liners for you. Thank you for watching MacT's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.